five. What is being creative? Creativity is no longer a word reserved for the musician or the artist. It's something you can find in anyone. It's the ability and the urge to make something of value. It can be big. It can be small. But making something new, something different, something that surprises, Something that makes you smile. It's making something beautiful. It's telling a story. It's telling your story. Expressing yourself. It's about being passionate. It's creating something other people can use. Sharing your creativity. It's about realizing that there isn't always a right or a wrong way of doing things. There's not always the correct answer. Only the answers that we create. What's common for creativity is that it comes from inspiration. Inspiration found in the world we live in. And in the people we live with. It's found when we share with them. Building on what's given from the diversity of people's thoughts and perspectives. So try and drop the assumptions that you know how to do things and already know the solution. Stray away from the direct path. Take risks. Don't be afraid to make mistakes. Because it's only from the mistakes that we learn. And it's from the mistakes that the really interesting things happen. We may not always create or invent, but we always learn when we try.
two. Whatever happened to the days in mobile when companies were constantly pushing the boundaries of innovation and design, putting out products that were sometimes even considered wacky? We needed to design a device that was not only an incredible phone, but also an amazing wearable. I used to repair a lot of phones that had cracked screens or were water damaged, and did it quite frequently. And when I took apart a lot of these phones, I noticed that a lot of the brands shared similar construction and design techniques and oftentimes used materials that were obsolete, like screws and using rigid and fragile materials like glass and even steel, and thought to myself there had to be a better way. We first started with a lot of different types of concepts and designs, and after a lot of iterations and testing and vetting, we really kind of narrowed it down to two designs, which was a large and a small, and before you knew it, the portal was born. We needed to ensure that it was not only waterproof, but also flexible, shatterproof, and wearable. We needed to build a team of incredible people with a wide range of skill sets who are all unified to pursue our mission and break the mold of the mobile market. The problem with the mobile market right now is that the phones are all the same, and what little differentiation they have is that some are less user-friendly and some are less durable. Things like this still happen. So we're here to change that. With the vibrant palette, clean typography, and easy to understand icon set, the portal UI is an experience that cannot be missed. Why be stuck with the same old design when you've got a new refreshing interface to play with? An interface that helps you interact, that knows what you want, and works with you in the way that you want it to work. The portal not only has all the features you would expect, such as Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and NFC, but also has a waterproof Kevlar-infused polyurethane body, a 6-inch flexible display, wireless charging, an unlocked network, and so much more. Some of the biggest challenges with starting a smartphone company are all the licensing and government certifications involved, which you can probably imagine is enormously expensive. All of us here at Arubix truly believe that we can change the world with our innovation. Even if you can't help back us, please help spread the word so we can revolutionize the mobile industry.